Hey creeps, it's Cameron again, and welcome back to my channel where I talk about books, movies, writing, and all things spooky. Um, just got a big old package from Vinegar Syndrome. Now, Vinegar Syndrome, if you don't know, is a company that releases uh, horror, cult, and exploitation films on Blu ray. So they give them these really nice, fancy Blu ray editions. Uh, everything is uh, restored from the original film elements. A lot of the times they're in 2K, sometimes they're in 4K, which is even better. Uh, and they uh, release them in sometimes limited editions, sometimes they have limited edition uh, slip covers. And every year they'll do their halfway to Black Friday sale. So they'll have 50% uh, off almost everything in their catalog, including a whole bunch of new uh, mystery titles that you don't really know about until the day of the sale. So I have been saving up for the sale for several months now because there were a ton of titles that I wanted to order. And I did that and I wound up spending about $240. I don't usually do that. I don't usually spend that much money, especially on a bunch of movies that I've never seen. I've actually, I don't think I've seen any of the movies in this box. But fortunately, I do tend to like everything that Vinegar Syndrome puts out. Uh, they are my kind of company, for sure. But anyway, I thought I would unbox this on camera. So here we go. Now, like I said, I have not really seen any of these movies, um, but I do have a buddy here on YouTube named Adam Caesar. I'll post the video up here. He just did an unboxing of his order, and he got a lot of the same movies that I ordered, um, but the only difference is that he's actually seen most of those movies and he's able to talk about them. So if you wanna know more about these movies, then go watch his video after this. Uh, but I'm just gonna kinda go through them and show you what I got. All right, I ordered 12 movies, so there's a lot to go through, and I'm very excited. Where to start? Okay, uh, I'm gonna start with the one on the end here. All right, this is called Evil Town, and this is an 80s horror film. This is part of their new series that they're doing. It's called the Vinegar Syndrome Archive, I believe. Um, so each one of these releases is going to have these really nice slip covers that uh, load from the bottom, which is really cool. Kind of reminds me of uh, the old VHS days. And mine is numbered at 804 of 2,500. Next up, we have Raw Force. Now this is a, uh, I believe, kind of a martial arts zombie film. And uh, from the trailer, it looked like there's a boat of people who uh, get stranded on an island, I believe, and there are zombie samurai and they have to fight them. This looked bonkers. Uh, as soon as I saw the, the cover, I was like, I think I need to have that. And then I saw the trailer and I was like, I know I need to have that. So this looks like a lot of fun. Uh, this was originally released in an edition without a slip cover. So for halfway to Black Friday, they released an exclusive slip cover. Very excited to watch this. Next we have another one of their exclusive uh, slip covers that they released during Halfway to Black Friday. So we have Slaughterhouse. And this one's really cool. It opens sideways actually, and the movie is inside. I did not have the movie yet. Uh, like I said, I've not seen any of these, so I ordered it with the uh, movie included. Uh, this is an 80s slasher that is about this guy right here, a big old butcher. So. That obviously looks like a great time. And uh, Adam Caesar actually said this is like one of his favorite slashers. So sounds exciting. Next, we have Dear Dead Delilah. This is, I believe a 70s film. Yeah, 1972. And this is actually directed by John Ferris, the uh, horror novelist. This was, I believe his only film that he directed. I may be wrong about that. Uh, but I, uh, I saw Aaron Dries, the uh, horror author, post his own thoughts about this on Twitter and said that he loved it. It's a good southern gothic horror film and it had some gore gags in it that uh, had his jaw dropping. So I obviously uh, had to order a copy for myself. I plan on giving this a watch very, very soon. Next up, we have The Dead Come Home a.k.a. The House on Tombstone Hill, a.k.a. Dead Dudes in the House. This was released uh, with three different titles, uh, but this is a horror comedy, I believe about a bunch of uh, frat guys in a house who are getting killed by an old woman with an ax, 
and then there are also zombies and the old woman from the uh, trailers that I saw looks just like a dude dressed up as an old lady uh, it just looks crazy and I saw a lot of uh, chopping action going on in the trailer so that made me very happy I am really pumped about this one uh, this is called there's nothing out there I've been wanting to see this for a very long time uh, this was made in 1990 and this is a, a meta horror film uh, that predates Scream. Uh, so it's about a bunch of kids going to a cabin and uh, one of the kids is really up on uh, horror films. He's like a horror film expert and he believes that there is something out there that everybody else thinks there isn't. Uh, obviously, I think there is actually something out there. So as you can see right here, it's this mean little guy. Uh, but this just looks like a blast. Here we have another 80s slasher, and that is Splatter University. I've heard a lot about this one over the years, and I've always wanted to see it. Made in 1981, we have Wacko. I wasn't sure if I was going to buy this, because honestly the cover didn't really appeal to me. I didn't know exactly what this was. Uh, but this is actually a, a horror spoof set on Halloween. And it basically a spoof of horror films so I watched the trailer and I thought it looked really goofy and fun the killer in this has a pumpkin for a head so that's really cool uh, it just looks really insanely goofy <laughs> here we go uh, this is the suckling this is another 80s creature film uh, this I believe is about uh, an aborted baby and apparently this uh, is the aborted baby it's, it turns out to be a uh, bloodthirsty creature uh, obviously it's from the 80s so what do you expect next we have the corruption of Chris Miller and this is a 70s giallo film and it's about these two women who live in the same house together but they hate each other and uh, one night one very stormy night this man right here wielding a blade starts to stalk the area and is leaving behind dead bodies so these two women I guess have to fend him off so this sounded really cool and uh, from the trailer that it looks like it's beautifully shot uh, obviously it is a giallo film so most of those are really pretty looking and I like the aspect of the two women who live in this home together but hate each other at the same time and they have to work together to uh, deal with this murderer that just sounds really appealing to me so it's got a really cool slip cover there. And I'm down to the last two movies. Here we have Mountaintop Motel Massacre. And this is another 80s slasher. Another one that kind of reminds me of uh, Motel Hell from what I saw uh, from the trailer. Uh, but this is one that I have heard a lot about over the years and I've always wanted to see it. So I'm glad that Vinegar Syndrome got a hold of this and uh, restored it. This is restored in 2K from the original 35 millimeter negative. So this, I think, is going to be a good one. And last, but definitely not least, we have another one of Vinegar Syndrome's um, kind of like mystery halfway to Black Friday sale titles. Uh, this is the one I'm probably going to watch first, honestly. I'm the most excited to watch this one. Here we have Night Beast. And this is another 80s film. I believe it was shot on 16 millimeter, so it's extremely low budget. Uh, but it's about an alien that comes from space and just starts wreaking havoc on Earth. So, look at that. Look at that. Look at that guy. He looks amazing. As soon as I saw that, I'm like, well, I need to have this. Uh, yeah, definitely going to be watching this one first, for sure. So there we go. We have all 12 of my Halfway to Black Friday Vinegar Syndrome titles. It's a nice little stack there. Filled in a lot of gaps in my Vinegar Syndrome collection. I'm so excited to watch all of these. I have been so pumped for this order to come in. I, it's all I can think about. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. Uh, if you want to check out Vinegar Syndrome and see what they're all about, I will leave a link down below in the graveyard where you can go and browse their catalog. Uh, if you like old horror films and cult and exploitation movies, uh, they're totally for you. Now these movies are not going to be for everybody. Uh, these are really trashy uh, cult movies. So. Uh, don't expect anything highbrow here for the most part, but uh, they're they're definitely worth your time if you like some cheesy good fun. Uh, but anyway, thank you all for watching this, and I will see you in the next one. Later, creeps.